St. Mark's is this beautiful historic church located on 3rd Avenue, right in downtown Durango. And it was probably the very first church built here in Durango. And it's a long-standing Christian community. And I think that's a hopeful story that at the end of the 19th century, someone was willing to go out on a limb and cut timber and build this rough-hewn sanctuary for people to to gather in, in Christ's name. And the fact that that's been happening for well over a hundred I think that's a really hopeful story. I have to say when I walked in the church, the beauty of the parish of the church itself, the windows, the lighting, it was just lovely. And it's just like God's love is here. This is God's church and we love this church. I think we've been able to establish St. Mark's as the music church in this area. Right? And with the, we also had a, uh, a very significant concert series that spawned an organization, a 501c3, which this uh, last couple of months merged in with the local symphony. You know, we have a really close-knit group and, you know, people are very supportive of each other. We're really excited to raise our kids here at the church. It's just so important to us to have that in their lives as young children. Just having a place that's consistent, getting similar things every Sunday. That are, you're doing communion every Sunday, and you're doing the things that kind of are staple of our faiths that we truly believe in, and that it's helped us. So. There just always has been something about St. Mark's, and it's so welcoming, but uh, also non-judgmental. I've never been with such a, a large group of people who I, there's not a judgmental person among, at least not to my knowledge. I don't feel it. There's been this continuity of we can do it spirit within the congregation that was welcoming to the interims, uh, supportive of new people coming on board, and um, it, it just, you, you see a community of Christians working together and you think, ah, so this is maybe a taste of the kingdom, yeah, right here. It's just the growing energy um, that, that is uh, really taking place is that uh, people are participating more, contributing more, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, time and talent and, uh, and, and, and sharing mutual experiences, you know, and, uh, um, and, and what really gives me hope is like, uh, there's the placard out in front, you know, uh, you know that shout, uh, love your neighbor, uh, and it just goes on, who doesn't look like you, who doesn't act like you, who, uh, um, and, and all that. And, and I can honestly say that people try to put that into action. God's love is here, and uh, we don't get to decide who doesn't deserve it. There's just this community and the different seasons of life of the folks that, that come to church and commune and at St. Mark's is, was super important to our kids understanding and interacting with those those different people. So recognizing that they sort of contribute in a way as little guys and um, and then watching other people like in the congregation kind of interact with them and, and helping them learn how to serve, right? So we do a lot of stuff in the kitchen and um, I think they've learned service towards, you know, people, not just their peers, but um, sort of the community that we have at St. Mark's. It's a place of participation. Everybody finds their niche and you yeah. know, just gives a lot. At this particular time, at my age, I don't know what I would do without St. Mark's. It's a special place, that's all I can say.